Welcome to My Vaccine is Jesus. All blessing, honor, glory, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. I pray to the triune God to be filled with the Holy Spirit, so I am empowered to speak truth without error and to interpret Holy Scripture correctly. All truth comes from God, any errors are my own. I also pray that you, the listener, may likewise be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that any truth I speak or any scripture that I interpret correctly is welcomed in your heart, your mind, and your soul. Today's discussion is in the Apologetics Jehovah Witness playlist of this YouTube channel. It is entitled, The First and the Last. This is actually a quick addendum video to my former video. The reason I'm doing this is I had received a comment and got into some interchange with the Jehovah Witness, a defender of Jehovah Witness theology, suggesting that my interpretation of Revelation 22 was incorrect and that it was not Jesus Christ himself referring to himself as the Alpha and the Omega. So I'd like to give you further proof of that. First off, pay attention to this, please. Matthew 16, verse 27. These are all New World Translation uh, uh, rendi renditions. For the Son of Man is to come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he will repay each one according to his behavior. Questions. Who is coming with his angels to repay each one according to his behavior? Jesus Christ, the Son of Man, the Son of God. Anyone else? No. Are you sure? Yes. So who is coming with his angels to reward each according to his works? Jesus Christ. Okay, let's put that in the back of our mind. Let's go back to Revelation. Chapter 22, here's the point. Verse 12. Look, I am coming quickly, and the reward I give is with me to repay each one according to his work. Who is speaking? It's Jesus Christ, who is coming to repay each one according to his work based on Matthew 16, 27. Notice the next verse. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. So it is Jesus Christ himself declaring himself to be the Alpha and the Omega, which means the same thing as the first and the last, which means the same thing as the beginning and the end. Right? Alpha and the Omega, in Hebrew, it would be the Aleph and the Tav. But you want more proof? Fine, let's continue in Revelation 22. So look at verses 16 to 17, and then 20 to 21. Verse 16. I, Jesus, send my angel to bear witness to you about these things for the congregation. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. Verse 17. And the spirit and the bride keep on saying, Come. And let anyone hearing say, Come. And let anyone thirsting, Come. Let anyone who wishes take life's water free. Skipping ahead to verse 20. The one who bears witness of these things says, Yes, I am coming quickly. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. May the undeserved kindness of the Lord Jesus be with the holy ones. In Revelation 22.17 and 22.20, is come or coming repeatedly stated? Yes. In Revelation 22.16, 22.20, and 22.21, is Jesus Christ explicitly mentioned? Yes. Final questions. In Revelation 22.12-21, is anyone other than Jesus Christ mentioned? No. The Father? No. The one sitting on the throne? No. So if it's not Jesus Christ, again, explicitly mentioned in Revelation 22, 16, 22, 20, and 22, 21, with the comparison of 22, 12, and Matthew 26, 21, what contextual scriptural proof exists to suggest otherwise, that it's anyone other than Jesus Christ? You tell me there is none, because it is Jesus Christ, because he is the Alpha and the Omega, he is the beginning and the end, he is the first and the last, which are names of Jehovah, because Jesus Christ is also Jehovah, just not his Father. I pray I spoke truth and interpreted Holy Scripture correctly, so that this discussion might have been a blessing to you, the listener. All truth comes from God, any errors were my own. If it was a blessing to you, I would greatly appreciate if you could like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Lord willing, we shall meet again. May the Holy Trinity bless us all.